Hi Cancers and welcome to your September 2020 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to talk about the energies coming in for your sign this month. Um, really, really beautiful things coming up for you guys. I love the brightness in this reading. There's just kind of a really um, beautiful new potential coming in for you guys, perhaps new purposes, feeling much lighter, feeling much um, less weighed down feeling um, in charge and in the forefront of your own destiny and um, becoming more and more confident. I feel a spike in confidence for Cancers this month and I feel a lot of um, new paths just waiting to be accessed by you all. So let's talk really quickly before we get into the um, brunt of it about why things might feel a little bit heavy as well at the beginning of the month. So we are moving into the mutable sign of Virgo in the beginning of September, and we are going to be having uh, Jupiter and Saturn going direct in Capricorn finally. So I've talked quite a bit about this. I talked in the September general video, which I'll link below, about um, what's going on there. But for Cancer, this has a huge significance because obviously Capricorn is your opposite sign. That is your axis. This triple retrograde conjunction of Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto in Capricorn has been um, very impactful on cancer. It has had it has made a huge ripple and those ripples will go for quite a long time now. The decisions that you've made, the honor that you've instituted, the integrity that you've acted off of will ripple for probably the next like 30 years. So this year will have had a huge effect and the decisions made this year will have a huge effect. Yes, it looks like it could be a marriage for some of you. It could be an incredible relationship bond for some of you. Um, it could be the detachment from something that was weighing you down. And um, as you move through this time, I feel like there's pretty much nothing but good. But we do have that outlying Seven of Cups energy right off at the little corner here. Um, that is kind of like what's on the horizon. And am I even looking at myself with any of this? Am I even actually considering myself in any of these oncoming um, experiences? I see the wealth. I see the career. I see the prosperity. I see the love. I see the... Um, limelight. I see the um, the pitfall as well, and I see the power complex. And as I see all of these things all day, every day, it's like I fall further and further into shadow. That's not going to be for all cancers, but it's really important this month of September of 2020 that you're doing what you're doing because it is innate to you, not because it is what looks good to other people. And I want you guys to sit with that for just a second, because typically cancer is very good with this type of thing. Like cancer is not, you know, typically very, you know, um, narcissistic or only focused on what other people think or disconnected from themselves. But the only outlying thing is getting a little bit detached or disconnected from your innate energy. It's kind of like... Um, throwing someone under the bus to be very beautiful or just just to like um, jump into that next relationship. Um, you might be honored, you might be beautiful, but is that really you? Or is that sort of the outline of someone um, that is not you? Um, that That is possible for some cancers, but ultimately, for those of you who are looking at yourself, who are allowing yourself to bloom instead of just the horizon to bloom, you have a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful month. So let's talk about it. What a great month to take a calculated leap of faith. What a great month to temper your emotions, to have a completely like emotional makeover, no longer feeling dread, no longer feeling a sense of disease, no longer feeling like you can't get out of bed in the morning, um, and the great possibility to step into a wonderful new relationship, and the great possibility to end and begin in the most empowered way. I'm also feeling a pretty large shift in perspective for most Cancers in this month of September. It's kind of feeling like you're viewing a similar situation with like different background music or different... Um, you know, flavor of it. Like you can see a situation that used to be quite negative or quite difficult and something that was like haunting you or something that was being difficult to cope from. And just by putting like a different tone to it or by seeing it in a different way, now it's something that's quite funny or it's something that has a lot of humor. Um, and I definitely recommend this for all cancers because this is a great way to shift out of anything that's heavy and still weighing you down. 
you know, as you're revisiting the past, as you're maybe even having like flashbacks this month, especially early on in the month, it's really great to think about, um, you know, how small is this situation? How finite are these uh, chains of events? And how can I start to not be weighed down by them anymore? Um, you know, just laughing at the fact that something was as big of a deal as it was, or starting to, um, play up things that seem quite small but actually motivate you in a really powerful way. Uh, maybe starting to listen and listen to motivational music or motivational speeches as you're just doing quite small mundane things and sort of seeing not only the humor behind that but the encouragement that you start to feel and the way that you start to um, envision your true manifestational purpose in this very moment. So yeah, it does feel like Cancer is really coming face-to-face uh, -face with what they want to manifest and face-to-face -face with a much larger sense of purpose. And for some of them, that is actually something more mundane, like maybe your daily routine, especially as we're in Virgo season, or your um, diet or your experience of the way that you walk through life daily is now something much more grandiose and something much more, not grandiose, but um, what do I want to say? It has more significance. The significance of your uh, mundane daily life can start to raise to a level of you no longer feeling insignificant and then coping through, you know, having to maybe uh, concoct very dramatic situations or having to concoct very, um, or, or make things that are actually not so significant, something so big that you now have an excuse to now date someone else or move into a new sphere of life. Sometimes cancer, that this is, this is a difficulty that cancer faces and something we need to talk about because of the oppositions to Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto, which really empower cancer in a very strong way. Um, it's much better in life to feel like you have a reason okay? It's much better in life to know, like, if I'm not happy in this relationship or if I'm not happy in this career, that is my reason. There's no need to wield the power of Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto and concoct really explosive situations that make it to be as if you were motivated by something other than your own reason to leave certain situations. Um, we have to really watch out as Cancerian people that we're not adding um, gas to the fire of certain situations just to create a large enough explosion that we uh, apparently had nothing to do with, but it gives us the momentum to shift over into another um, experience of life. Uh, so it's much better just to walk. It's much better just to say, you know what, I'm feeling today like I can't do this anymore and that is my reason and I'm going to start pursuing this over here. And people will actually start to gain a type of respect for the um, upfront and direct nature of a Cancer in September of 2020 and on through the rest of this year. The uh, directness of a Cancer's ability to be able to be um, compelled by their own feelings instead of having to uh, create or concoct certain situations or certain third party or inanimate moments that uh, show that uh, compelling energy in a way that has nothing to do with the Cancer. Um, these things are like minefields. These things are like things that Cancers do not need to be involved in anymore. And it feels like as you're moving into this month, that is your motivation. It's like, okay, no longer do I want to sidestep out of this. No longer do I want to create all of these scenarios for all these people. And now I'm just going to open up to my own free will, my own ability to forge my own destiny, my own ability to forge my own destiny as a Cancer is much more powerful than a concocted or artificial um, timeline that just is where, where things stretch out and things go on longer than they have to be. Cancer is so blessed and so plentiful this month that it feels like they can just finally directly elicit the response that they need or step onto the path that they've wanted. Um, so let's talk about the week-to-week -week Cancer. In the first week of September, you have the world rooted down by the sun. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I love that so much. So finally seeing the light of day, maybe healing a vitamin D deficiency, maybe um, healing your relationship with solar energy. So embracing the daytime. Again, Cancer is more of a nocturnal sign. It's ruled by the moon. So there is typically an issue with like sunlight or um, existing in like bright light or daytime. And I think that this will heal up for you a little bit in the beginning of September. And I think it will be really wonderful just to be out and to not be afraid of the sun and to not be afraid of age and to not be afraid of um, beauty as well. I do feel a sense of fear 
perhaps of like beauty from the cancer energy where it's like, oh my gosh, I'm afraid I'll lose my beauty. I can't be in the sunlight. You know, I'm going to get wrinkles or something like that. That's quite mundane, but it's so great to feel encouraged by the sun and understanding that all of our life comes from it. Um, it is always important to think of the sun when we're making changes or when we are stepping onto a new path of vitality. And I think that the first week of September is all about you guys getting more vitality, getting more energy, getting more ability, getting more, um, what would I say, um, just intention behind what you're doing, you know, and motivation and purpose, re really motivational time for you for sure. Week number two, you have temperance rooted down by the fool. I mean, I can't say anything bad about these things. These are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things. Um, you have one foot in and one foot out of certain situations. And I don't think that that's bad right now, but you might think about like, how am I going to balance all of these things for the oncoming future? Um, am I filtering things out? Am I really processing things to the best of my ability? Am I processing the way that I want to start over? Am I um, actually wishing that I could start over in certain ways? Do I wish that I had another chance in certain places? Do I wish that I had um, more time on my hands to um, pursue the things that I want? What a great time to set an intention, to set a goal, to set something into motion, to realize, okay, I want to do this. And I'm going to allow myself to start foraging the resources that it takes in an, in an integrity-based way. What an incredible time for forgiveness as well. What an incredible time for setting the record straight. And I mean, honestly, if I'm really looking into that second week and feeling your energy, and even in through the third week, the first three weeks really of September just to me looks like cancer thriving. Um, I can't really even complicate it more than that. Like, honestly, like we can try to look into the shadow. We can try to look into, you know, how sometimes these things can, you know, hit us at weird times and in weird ways. Um, but I think you guys are thriving and it's just so beautiful. And it brings a lot of comfort to my heart to see that this sign, despite having these oppositions, despite having these things, is really thriving. It makes me really happy. Uh, week number three, you have nine of cups rooted down by page of pentacles. Um, so very prosperous ideas. And I will also say that the third week, as you move into fellow uh, cardinal sign of Libra, it's kind of like you have a complete, not a completely new path, but something that you might have wanted to access for a while, a creative journey that you might have been trying to um, manifest for a long time is at the forefront. Like you are kind of standing at the gateway to it, but will you let yourself move down it? Are you willing to maybe operate off of um, a bit less like financial wealth to pursue this creative wealth, um, knowing that it may very much outweigh what you can do now um, when it comes to its financial potential. So um, yes, I do think that cancers can heal their philosophy towards finance or towards uh, value in general. Um, I've talked in many of the other readings about the um, ability to heal finance and to, to heal our philosophy towards money and anything that might be holding us back there. And um, I think that you will feel much more lucky in the third week. I think that you're going to not feel this like dark cloud that's been looming over for a while. Um, and there is something about this all that's related to sunlight. So some of you might just really be um, without knowing it, avoiding the sun or something like that. And, and the more that you touch the sun, the more that the sun comes into contact with you, the more that you're going to feel more luck and prosperity. So week number four, Cancers, you have the Empress rooted down by seven of cups. So something regarding um, even like sex appeal or the desire to have a new relationship or for those of you who are single, like dating life or trying to uh, come into contact with uh, new interesting people, um, something about that is uh, swinging, not out of control, but swinging into a territory that I don't love for you guys um, just because it's feeling like it's not really about you. Like you might think that it is about you, but the person or the idea or the the branding, I almost want to call it, there's like a branding that you're taking on when it comes to your personal projection. And it's sort of making the idea of cancer more inanimate and less human. So don't dehumanize yourself if you're dating. Don't dehumanize yourself if you're even like job hunting or or anything, because the Empress is not just dating, it's about um, prosperity in general, you know, through relationships, through jobs, through comfort, through self-sufficiency. Uh, 
And you want to make sure that you don't like brand yourself or dehumanize yourself in a way that saps your own humane vitality. So it's really important for you guys, yes, to dream, to find these aspirations, to find these ambitions, and to start climbing those mountains. But make sure that it's about you and it's about your own expansion, not about um, fulfilling society's outline of what a person who does that which you are seeking should look like and should appeal to. Because within that, you sacrifice all of the uh, light that you have needed to invest into yourself into um, the billboards of the city, essentially. So um, yes, the billboards of the city will give nothing to cancer in the long run, and they will eventually be replaced. So it's really good for cancer to find their own vitality and potentiality within themselves instead of relying on um, capitalism or, you know, the city urbane cut out a branding of spending thousands of dollars a day, if you could, uh, become their own life force essence. So yeah, absolutely. The cancers that are winning right now, which I feel is like 80 or 90% of cancers, are the cancers who um, are not fooled by what it actually means to thrive or not fooled by what it actually means to be in connection with their own vital life force energy not convincing themselves that it ever took wild sums of money or wild, um, you know, photos or wild, you know, these things to um, thrive. And cancers, I, for those of you who uh, get it by now in the fourth week of September, it's like incredible to see how you are crowned and to see how you are um, actually made present within the horizon of like seven of cups you know it's not about looking at it it's not about thinking about how it could be but it's about integrating it with your present so the integration of what you've wanted with your present without um basically selling your soul or forfeiting the um traction that you've gained throughout the more background situations that you've been through over the last few years the lack of that forfeiture is really your greatest sort of cosmic alignment right now. So I know that that's quite jargony, but it's really the only way that it can come out. And um, overall, Cancer, you know, I have to really dig. If I'm looking for anything negative, I have to dig and dig and dig. And it's really not there for many of you. So it's, it's really just in layman's terms, a very positive thrive thriving potential month for you where yes you can have the new relationship if you want it where yes you can have the new beginning if you want it no longer do you have to be in volatility in like manic depressive ways in extremes feeling very uh vibrant and very expressive one day and then feeling like you want to recede and you want to be um you know that that sort of interior cancer um there's a lot of ebb and flow naturally within the cancerian energy but it feels like you're finding a nice streamline in this month and it feels like you are finding finding a nice sense of consistency and um, ebbing, ebbing and flowing in a way that is not so extreme that that it's like you've not had this in a long time so that that's what i would basically call this month is cancer rediscovering something they haven't had in a long time and thriving more and more because of it so congratulations cancer i love what i'm feeling for your sign be and if you can like um really express this really uh be this like this isn't i mean it's something that you can have just for yourself if you would like but i think it's so beneficial for humanity to see someone thriving like this now you know when all of the odds are stacked or when so many people feel disempowered to see thriving somewhere makes people ask a question um to themselves and they say okay i see that it is possible i see that even against certain odds thriving is still possible what can i do and then they start making a formula and then they figure out the questions to their own lives so yeah i definitely sense that cancer is super inspiring this month and is actually being a catalyst for many people just through what they project okay um so beautiful beautiful cancer probably the uh, most thriving oriented sign this month um, I'm going to go ahead and conclude your reading on that note. I will be putting together an extended over on Patreon if you guys would like to support the channel or if you would like to get a weekly tea chat, which I do. I forecast each week ahead. I do viewer requests. You can request topics and I talk about them. Um, it's a great way to support the channel and um, keep this content coming. Um, otherwise, as usual, your likes, comments, and subscribes here on YouTube make my day. Be sure to hit the red subscribe button if you are new and turn the bell notifications on so you will be notified when new posts come up. I'm so excited to speak about this um, oncoming quarter, actually, the rest of 2020. It's going to be a very interesting time. And I will be talking to you guys soon. Much love. Bye.